Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, my feed, The Rustic Nerd Dad. Uh, this is my first official uh, review video. It's actually my first video uh, besides a test live stream for, uh, for my page and my channel. Um, so, you know, as usual, do the whole like, uh, follow, subscribe thing if you feel like it. Um, but this is actually a pretty um, special video, I guess, um, to start off is I'm doing this video for um, Captain America Day. Um, so March 10th, Captain America Day. Um, for those of you that are fans, you very much know this. If you're new to Marvel, you may or may not know this. Um, but March 10th, Captain America Day. Um, on March 19th, there's actually uh, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier coming out. Obviously, direct correlation to um, Captain America. Um, so it's it's there's some really neat uh, Marvel stuff going on, not just today, but um, coming very soon that is connected to Steve Rogers, Captain America. Um, to be very, very straightforward and honest, you know, uh, I haven't been a Steve Rogers, Captain America fan for very long. Um, it really wasn't until uh, Chris Evans stepped into the role of the character that it made me pay more attention and start to really like Steve Rogers' Captain America. Um, I have very much been always been more pro Iron Man. Um, and then, you know, I, I really started to delve more into the character. And as you can see, <laughs> Captain America has really come to the forefront for me. And uh, it, it, I just a character that I really admire um, for, for many, many reasons. Um, but like I said, this is actually a review video. So one of the things I'm going to be reviewing today is the Captain America shield for the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Um, this is actually the Hasbro Legend Series shield. Um, and actually, you before even the show comes out, you actually get a brief uh, uh, visual of it. Um, when Steve passes the shield to Sam at the end of Marvel Avengers Endgame. Um, they actually have this style of shield already prepared for Sam. Um, so it's, it's going to be really neat to see how the shield itself plays out in the show because it, it has such a um, meaning and weight to it um, when it comes to a character such as Captain America. Um, but anyways, less talk, more opening. So I actually haven't opened this yet, so it's going to be fun to open this and see what's what we got going inside. Um, so I actually got this from uh, Amazon. Um, you can actually get this from Hasbro Plus, um, EB Games, um, you know, many... Uh, websites it's usually around um it ranges like you can get it on eb for you know or not eb sorry uh gamestop although i'm sure eb games in canada which is uh, pretty sure still the sister company um usually at gamestop it's around like 99 usd um i think i got this on amazon prime with free shipping for like 109 or 119 or something like that i just know that they've become more scarce and um, hard to get your hands on, especially as it gets closer to the show coming out. Wow, so pretty good packaging, you know. And, okay. So this is my first um, Legends Shield. Um, I don't know if I'll bother getting uh, one of the others. Maybe I'll get like a one of the metal ones eventually. We shall see. Guess more cutting needs to be done. Smells like a new car. Forgive me if you can hear my dogs in the background. I'm recording this on my phone, so I haven't really uh, honed in the settings. Wow, this is actually pretty cool. Um, so, this is the shield. It's got um, quite nice details to it. It's got all the 
engravings. Well, this one's got a bit of a scratch. That's no big deal. Um, but yeah, it's really, really nice. Um, and this is actually what the inside looks like. So you've got your kind of, seems like fake leather harness or like gripping in here for the arm. And of course I've got the little, you know, stamp in there saying, you know, Hasbro, Marvel, obviously made in China. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, I wasn't really sure what to expect. Like I said, I've never had one before. Um, it is quite nice. They've got quite the nice metallic paint to it. Um, like I said, there's tiny little scratches on here, which is kind of surprising. Um, but again, you know, that for the price point, um, it doesn't really take it away, take anything away from it for me. Um, I, I mean, I'm, I'm obviously into cosplay, um, so I've seen shields, like metal shields, really nice shields, by the way, that sell, um, you know, 250 plus, um, like I've seen them go up like $500. Of course, you pay for what you get, you know, usually really nice quality out there. Um, but uh, that's not really in my budget. And it's, you know, if you're you're kind of like a passive casual collector like myself, you know, I just kind of pick up stuff that I feel like is um, fits my style and my niche. Um, I'll, I'll grab it. So yeah, Marvel Legends, um, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, um, Captain America shield. Um, I'm probably gonna wall mount it, um, you know, right up on the wall up there, you know, right up next to Cap. Um, I think it'll look nice up there. Um, but to compare, this is actually nice. It's got a good weight to it actually too. And it's pretty thick. Um, but to compare, I do have a cheap Halloween shield, um, that I had bought. Um, cause last Halloween, um, you know, I, um, one needed something quick for Halloween. And uh, this is the hot cheap Halloween one. I think I paid 20 bucks on Amazon. It's a little smaller, I think, if not close to the same size. Eh, it's pretty close, but it's thin and flimsy. Um, this is what the back looks like. Um, but yeah, 20, 20 bucks on Amazon, I think I spent on that one. Um, really cheap paint quality. Um, doesn't, I don't think it looks as nearly as nice as this one, to be honest. Um, but hey, you know, for 20 bucks, I did the trick. Um, but now I've got something, you know, I can play like giant frisbee with, with my son, or, if, you know, I can always give it to my son for him to play with. Um, cause he also really likes Captain America. So anyway, this is the Captain America, um, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier Hasbro Legends Shield that I got off of Amazon Prime. So I I would honestly give that about, again, for the price point, I'd say about eight out of 10. Um, I think I take away points just for the strapping quality and the little the little scratches on it. But otherwise it's it's really nice. I'm, I'm quite happy with it. Um, I, I look forward to, um, um, doing reviews on some other Marvel Legends products that I've picked up recently. Um, another thing about Captain America and reviews that I'm going to be talking about today um, is this Captain America Infinity War pop figure. Um, I really like the Infinity War version of Cap uh, just because, you know, he, he's got the beard going on. Um, you know, he's got the sleeves pulled up. He's ready to go. He's ready to fight. Um, the suit's roughed up. Um, I'd love to eventually set up an Infinity War, um, outfit. Um, either that or Thor. Thor's outfit is pretty awesome in that movie, too. Um, but yeah, we'll see. But anyways, I got this pop figure off of Mercari. Um, I got it used. Um, I got it within three or four business days, I think. Um... I can't tell if it's been opened or not. It might have been, but um, the seller sold it in pretty good shape. Um, it's going to go up on my shelf with my other uh, pop figures. 
Um, not that I have many, but when I see one I like, I definitely pick it up. Um, but yeah, I ended up paying $13, $14 with free shipping. So, you know, so at the end of the day, it was probably about eight, eight bucks or so for the actual figure, which isn't bad when it comes to pops, especially getting them uh, secondhand. Um, but I will be including a uh, link to Macari. Um, so for an opportunity, you know, um, if you sign up and you actually use it, you have a chance of uh, getting some extra money in your pocket. Um, I won't say an exact dollar amount just in case Mercari changes their, their policies, but um, um, I've really liked Mercari so far. I've picked up uh, a, quite a few things. I recently picked up uh, my Xbox HOTAS um, flight simulator controllers. Um, I've picked up figures in the past. I've sold on there. Um, I actually got my Green Arrow hat that you can probably barely see in the background. I got that off there. Brand new condition. Great deals. Um, so if you're looking for hot toys, uh, Marvel Legends even, um, like Star Wars, DC, anything that you collect, I would definitely suggest checking out Mercari. Because, um, yeah, some you can snag some really good deals. Um, I'm not sponsored, by the way. I'm just throwing that out there. Um, so, Captain America, um, I'll probably be doing a full review of this on maybe Friday, um, if I get a ch chance to, but I managed to pick up these shorts and the matching shirt. So this is for, um, like working out, um, you know, like kickboxing and stuff like that. Um, it's the Hero Elite series. Um, powered by, I'm probably going to butcher this, Hayabusa, Hayabusa, um, feel free to correct me in the comments below, um, I definitely don't mind, I'm open to learning, but, um, seems like a very comfortable shirt, um, the sub dye quality on this is amazing, um, it's got the shield on the shoulders, and the, the Avengers A on the other shoulder, sorry, um, very very nice quality and detail um and the shorts you know they they seem really really nice really really like they'll be comfy um so i'll probably follow up with that on a full review when i go to do my um my workout routine video um, for anybody that may be interested in that um, i'll be doing some fun like nerdy stuff with that um and of course last but not least uh, um, so my chair, um, I recently got this, um, I'll pick up my phone for this. So this chair is pretty comfy. Um, it's hard to show. Um, um, it's pretty, pretty comfy. Um, so I recently got it, um, on, it's on Amazon as well. Um, the brand honestly escapes me. <laughs> I apologize. Um, but it's easy to find. You just search, you know, Captain America chair um, on, on Amazon, a gaming chair. And uh, honestly, I wasn't sure what to expect. Um, I'll probably add in my description what the brand is. I'll do all that kind of fun stuff. So if you're interested, just read the description of the video and I, I might throw a link in there. Um, but anyway, I am ridiculously impressed with this chair. Um, chair is is phenomenal. Like it's phenomenal. It's comfy. It moves really well. The detailing, um, as you can see, um, it's got the uh, the Winter Soldier stealth suit design too. I just absolutely love it. Um, you can get a version where there's like uh, legs that kick up underneath you. It's it is awesome. Like it, it is really really comfortable. And it's around like 130 bucks, I think. Um, uh, you know, I, I was looking at secret lab chairs and stuff like that because I like DC, obviously, stuff as well. Um, but then I saw this Captain America chair and I love it. Um, highly recommend. Like I said, really comfortable. Very easy to assemble. I assemble it in about 20, 25 minutes. Um, 
heck, my son really likes it, um, and he's going to be gaming with me on Saturday, so if you're interested in um, family-friendly streaming, um, my son Oliver and I are going to be streaming on Saturday at uh, um, 1 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. Um, but yeah, I might look at picking him up a chair as well, um, just because it's really well-built, comfortable, reliable, highly recommend. But, uh, but yeah, so Captain America Day, um, again, featuring my white sheep leather uh, Captain America suit there in the background with my quickly handmade accessories. Um, but yeah, um, if you like this video, again, feel free to uh, like, follow us, uh, hit that subscribe button. Um, and if there's anything that you're, you're interested in uh, seeing reviews on, um, hit me up in the comment section. Um, I, I definitely am open to picking some stuff up as long as it's within reason um, to do a review for you guys. Um, I'm just kind of new to this. So over time, you know, there'll be like intro, like my little intro thing. I don't have, unfortunately, any of that set up yet. Um, it's currently being worked on. Um, but yeah, if there's stuff that you're interested in, uh, feel free to comment it and I'll try to uh, see what I can do. Again, no promises, but if I do do something, I'll make sure that I reach out to you to let you know. Um, so thanks for the time for watching this. Happy Captain America Day. Um, you know, thanks Stan Lee. Thanks Marvel for everything you've done um, and you're continuing to do. Thanks Disney. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's such a great time to be a nerd. Um, with all this fantastic, just not even shows, but just products coming out for us to enjoy. So, um, but yeah, catch you guys on the flip side and we'll see you soon.